Hello? What the fuck? I swear to God, we're not making this up. I swear to God, this is true. <laughs> According to recent polls, more than 45% of Americans believe in paranormal activity. Now, until recently, none of us had really thought or believed in the supernatural. But in the spirit of challenging our beliefs and to see if they could experience something, Amar and some friends decided to spend a night in one of the most haunted places in America, the infamous Pennhurst State School. Opened in 1908, it was supposedly a place to help children cope with their conditions. Penhurst State School and Hospital. These are some of the sights and sounds of Penhurst. But actually served as a place for society to separate themselves from the mentally disabled. For years, they kept quiet about incidents of staff beating and torturing the patients. That was until 1968, when a documentary called Suffer the Little Children exposed Penhurst for decades of inhumane conditions and eventually led to its closure in 1977. Penhurst now lies abandoned, and it is believed that many of the neglected and tortured spirits never left. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Philly right now. We're basically coming here to do a little bit of scouting before we come tonight. Oh, Today, wow, before going it there. <laughs> it's pretty big. <laughs> this is your nightmare. Please bear in mind that this man does not walk in the dark by himself as an adult, let alone be in an abandoned, haunted asylum. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Joining Amar on this adventure is our lead editor, Tommy, our friends and fellow YouTubers, Sky and Eric, and lastly, one of our other editors, Tristan. They have been given permission to spend the night and will also be joined by a Penhurst paranormal expert to show them around. How's everyone feeling? <laughs> and if it seems like I'm acting, it's because I am. <laughs> I'm terrified. But I hide my fear with jokes and laughter. So we're currently heading out to the Penhurst Asylum. And actually we are not trespassing this time, but we got permission. We're gonna be spending all night until sunrise. And the goal should be that Tommy and Tristan don't sh their pants. <laughs> I am absolutely terrified. I know Tommy's terrified. Sky, I'm getting energy that you are as scared as I am. Which I don't like because you've done this before. Yeah, I'm actually freaking out. <laughs> Alright Sky, any last words? God, please help us tonight. We're gonna need it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's not, it's not, that does not help. <laughs> Great team. What do we say? What's our motto? <laughs> we just got to Penhurst. This is, uh, I think, the, the meeting spot with the guides who are from the facility. We're gonna be taking us around the whole property. Apparently, there are secret tunnels that we're gonna go under. And this is where we'll be spending the next, what, 12 hours? We have some very, very dark places. Oh, <laughs> oh great. Fantastic. So, Autumn is exceptional when it comes to history. She is one of our historians on site here, so she can tell you a very detailed <laughs> history of the site. Amazing. And Autumn can guide you around. You'll have access to a large area of our tunnel tonight, as well as the entirety of the Mayflower Building, which is one of the most well-documented paranormal buildings in the world. The tunnels, like I said, the tunnels are really cool. I advise you to use two hands to hold your cameras while you're here. Things will not get out of your hand. What? what? Oh. Yeah, are, are you serious? It absolutely has happened. The majority of any spirits here would be the spirits of children who passed away here, which is an inordinate amount because children with special needs have a higher rate of death due to complications in the early parts of their life. So there was a lot of tragedy here, a huge amount of tragedy here. Has anyone ever been uh, physically harmed? Yes. What? We have had reports of people being pushed, poked, hair pulled. I've actually seen bite marks on the back of a person's arm. <laughs> what? Uh, and on a rainy night like this, who knows? It tends to get crazy when it rains. Oh, damn. You're so flush. If I get bit on my back, I don't, I'm running. I'm so scared. I'm scared. <laughs> to detect any unusual change in frequency that night, they were going to use the following tools an electromagnetic field reader, which detects fields emitted by moving electrically charged objects. 
an REM pod to detect movement or touch, and lastly, a spirit box, which allows spirits to communicate through the white noise and scanning of radio frequencies. Have a wonderful night, guys. I was ready to have some fun. I know, I'm ready to have some fun. You're scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Tommy? Yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm terrified, but you know, hey. Ha ha ha. Let's just send a good vibration to everybody that's up in here. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm really spooked. Oh, I got chills when that Same. happened. Same. Oh, yeah. I, I swear to God, we're not making this up. I swear to God, this is true. <laughs> There is a very negative male spirit who comes out in the basement quite often. He apparently was very cruel and things like that to the patients here. He is the only ghost that I will say is not nice. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, this is crazy. Do you guys want to do an investigation? Wait, can I see? No, what? Whoa, what the oh, Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what Amar, wow. It's only when you got close to that thing that it got messed up. You got freaked out. I've never seen you get freaked out like that. Should we uh, fire up the thing by the door and He's see right. if we could talk to them? I keep hearing it over there. Where is that coming? I heard it twice. Hello? Is that anyone one of us, or is that uh, in the box? That was the box. So that's cool. the guy. Should we get out of this tunnel? Tell me when you up. He said stop it. I heard stop it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Right. Stop. Yeah, yeah, we'll stop. I we'll stop. We'll stop. We'll stop. Wow, my God, dude. What did it say? What did it say? I don't know. I turned off as it was saying the thing. A part of me is still like doubting that this is maybe the voices that we're hearing are like because it's AM frequency and maybe it's capturing, but we're underground. We heard something here that was complemented with the other readings. Something went off. Like, stop it and then stop everything it, else and then goes everything off. Everything went off. Do you find it like cool or just scary? Just scary. Not at all not, fascinating. Do not find it cool. I find it terrifying. When a spirit yells at me to stop it, I'm gonna <laughs> stop it. I'm gonna say sorry and then I'm gonna run away. How much more time do we have? Eight more hours? <laughs> this is terrifying. This is really, yeah. really scary. We're off to an incredible start, guys. I was the biggest skeptic. But the second I'm in the environment, I don't, you know, I give in. I believe. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that doll. What's going on with his eyes? He's going to be an inviting thing for children. How about we don't touch any of that? Yeah. What's going on? I'm just like getting chills filming. <laughs> The most effective way of investigating, I feel, is doing it on your own. The idea of more people kind of scares them a little bit. So Autumn is saying that the most effective thing to do is to stay in rooms alone. We can leave if you do want to stay here completely by yourself. Yeah, I'm not down to sit here for five, ten minutes. That's crazy, in this whole floor, the basement, all by yourself. I would literally never do that. <laughs> I'd never do that. Maybe I'll be up in five, ten minutes. Love you, baby. Love you too. I can't believe he's doing that. What is wrong with him? Okay, I'm actually really alone here right now. I'm almost like tempted to put the camera on the edge of a table. 
not not to provoke anything, but to see if there's actual movement. And I have asked peacefully that if there's anything in the room to make its presence felt or heard or seen gently and peacefully. I come in peace. I repeat, if there's anything in the room, please make the red light beep. Alright, I've been here for about 10 minutes. I haven't really felt or heard or seen anything. I'm gonna go join the rest of the team. strange walking straight and not knowing what's happening behind me, you know? <laughs> Before going on the scariest mission of the night, they ask Autumn to tell them a bit more about Penhurst. I, I tell everybody towards the end of the tour, this place did do a lot for the disabled rights community. For all the neglect and suffering that the residents went through, through its closure, it closed all of the facilities alike it and it relieved thousands of disabled people from receiving that same treatment, you know what I mean? And it also helped to guarantee that right to an unbound education for every student and why we have accommodations for people with special needs in schools. I do have to say that we still have a long way to go within the disabled rights movement. I mean, they're legally able to be paid 30 cents an hour. They fear getting married because their support and health care could be stripped away from them. They could be denied an organ transplant because somebody thinks less of them. It's terrible. And so if I can send any message, I'd say to get involved and sign petitions if you can find them because there is a difference we can make. And my younger sisters are seven and five. They have special needs. Having them and loving them and caring about them so deeply, I feel for the kids here. 100% I interact with them at home every day, you know? Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You're so well-spoken. Oh Thank God. you. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. Her speech and her like care about this place was like the last thing I expected. I think there's always a chance for Sai to see where we're going wrong. I hope this is an invitation for us as people watching this to just really check ourselves and see who are we alienating, who are we just you know, putting down just because they're not like us. I never expected this video to have such a positive message. Yeah. <laughs> <Not ever. laughs> yeah. It's 4M and Tristan and Tommy, they're gonna do a full scan for the building, just the two of them. Autumn is one of the most badass girls I've ever met, and she is scared to go on the third floor alone to retrieve those things that we have to go retrieve. You guys will do great, I really believe in you. Why you do it. just me and Tommy up there, and Tommy gets picked up and thrown out the window. <laughs> <laughs> come so far. Look at us. So proud. Eric, man. I swear let's, to God. Let's push one more button. One more button, you're doing a one-man scan the entire <laughs> You wanna hold hands and walk you down? <laughs> that was another button. Uh oh. Eric, shut the f up. I just really gotta kick you out. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Alright, it is 4 30 a.m., and this is the final mission of the day. This is what we came here for Tommy and Tristan conquering their biggest fear and doing a full walkthrough this building. Eric is gonna be waiting for them on the third floor. No. So, so the faster you guys make it to the third floor, the less torture it is. No, and I shouldn't have done this. That's no. what happens when you're talking. I wasn't talking. All right, goodbye guys. It's like it's you and me, pal. We're not scared. We're not scared at all. Cool, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Wait. <laughs> My heart is pounding so fast. Oh, and the beepers are here? Oh, they're gonna be beeping, aren't they? Yeah, probably. Oh, why? Why? Wow, that's like instant as we arrive. Oh, Alright, Sky. Let's get out of here. Alright, did you hear no. Ah, okay, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Alright. Let's hit it. Oh. We're getting out of the basement. Second floor investigation time. Oh, God, yeah. Talk. If anyone can hear me, make a noise. I'm actually completely putting myself in the most terrifying situation I can think of. How they show up soon? Where are they? I'm interested. Eric, we're coming nowhere. We're just gonna take our time. 
Hello, hello. Second floor has been fully evaluated. Third floor. Can you come in peace? Eric? Eric! You okay? What's wrong? This has been the scariest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Actually? Yes. Holy shit, this is like a scary scene. <laughs> Dude, I was making fun of you guys all night, and then while I was sitting here, I was regretting everything. <laughs> you guys did it. Oh, oh, hey. oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's coming to celebrate. Man, I'm so happy you guys Hello? No. That just gave me. We gotta actually leave that. So. Uh, turn it off, turn it off. Dude, that gave me shivers Did down my entire that? body. What was that? I don't know. We have to go check. Can we move as a group? We clearly overstayed our welcome. We get it. There, there it is. What is it? There it is. What is it? Ah! Oh you? my god! Oh, you're oh a bitch. my god! You're such a bitch. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you oh my god! So after a dark and stormy night, the team made it out of Penhurst Asylum with their fear of the dark almost conquered. On a different note, a lot of you reached out to us and asked us about tips on making videos for YouTube. Well, our editor Tommy actually made a course about that in partnership with the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for people to explore new skills and deepen their existing passions. They've got classes on topics ranging from illustration and music to web development and marketing. If you're into video editing, check out Tommy's course, Storytelling Through Film, where he breaks down how he structures and edits the videos for Yes Theory. Another amazing course that we found is called Artivism, Creating Inspiring Art for Change by Nicholas Smith. This course not only explores the power that art can have in driving change in the world, but guides you through how to find inspiration and put it down on a canvas. So if you wanna check out these courses, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will actually get a free trial of premium membership. And after that, you just pay less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Learning is a form of discomfort, getting out of your comfort zone to try something new and acquire a new skill. And we used Skillshare even before they sponsored our videos. They're always launching new premium classes. So if you want to either have a framework for a new hobby or delve deeper into a new one, then click the link in the description below to get your free trial. And we'll see you next week.